G'day guys, today we're having a look just at about Fallout 4 Guns, computers, in ultra wide on the GDX 1070. This game is a pain in the ass to get to run properly in ultra wide. Um, first of all, you've got to use flawless widescreen. Oh, that's not a pain in the ass, that's a brilliant program, um, which I'm sure most of you use and know how to use already. Um, but the other part of the problem is you have to manually enter the resolution in um, and Fallout 4 prefs.ini in your My Documents, My Games, Fallout 4 folder. You need to enter that in there and then every time you want to change your graphics options in the launcher and you close the launcher, you need to reopen that document and check that the resolution settings haven't changed and also check that your uh, borderless windowed full screen options haven't changed because they always revert back to borderless full screen and you get much better performance in exclusive full screen mode in this game. Now apart from that this game engine is pretty shite. It's very old tech and on my AMD CPU, same with Skyrim, it just doesn't hack it. Um, now it does utilize all eight cores, but not very well. Uh, I can get a stable lock at 60 frames per second for the most part, as you can see with um, minor dips down to the 50s, um, even in high action scenes on the ground. Um, frame rate's pretty stable. Uh, you don't want to unlock the frame rate on this game because unless you want to play it in Sonic mode, unless you find that fun, um, the physics engine is bound to uh, 60 frames a second and things can get fun and interesting if you send it over that. So, like I said about the engine, for the most part it's okay, uh, but there's a couple of missions like the USS Constitution mission uh, where you're very high up off the ground and shooting down below. Uh, when the game's forced to render very long distances, your frame rate can become a slideshow. Well, it does for me anyway. Did for me on my GDX 970, does for me on my GDX 1070. I had a muck around, set everything in very low settings, uh, 1080p, and it was just a, a shit show trying to play that mission. And I'm just chalking it up to the old tech that was never really optimized for AMD CPUs uh, but other other places like my really crappy base that I've built that I've used uh, almost used up the you know the amount of units you can use in a base I don't really lose many frames my little shanty town in there so you see you can keep the frames in here like it's pretty good until it's not this game it'll you'll have a fairly decent frame rate and then like I said you'll be on a mission where you hide up the ground and it'll just crap itself but once, once you get it working once you use full widescreen once you manually edit the in files uh, you can run this in uh, ultra wide pretty well uh, in uh, 1440p um, I did kill the god rays uh, that really smashed the uh, frame rate um, every time you put them to off it defaults it back to one which is you know, there's nothing you can do about that uh, but everything else is on maximum view distance is on maximum um, the Nvidia's temporal anti-aliasing is on as you can see um, those power lines almost don't look jagged and yeah, it's a great game, very, very immersive, um, great to play in ultra wide, just that way, you know, I'm biased, everything's great to play in ultra wide, but um, very enjoyable um, as a first person game, you can play in third person, but to each their own, um, I much prefer my Bethesda games in first person. So yeah, it'll, um, like I said, I could run it on my GDX 970, 1080p, 60 frames a second, 
uh, pretty much uh, the same settings, just had to kill the god rays. Um, but every now and then, just out of nowhere, the frame rate will become a shit show. It'll just tank. And there's not much you can do about that in this game. Like, there's a lot of a lot of stuff loaded up right here. Um, obviously, that's a spoiler if you haven't got to the end of the game. You've got to build that. Not that much of a spoiler if you don't know what it is. Um, but, yeah, it, it's funny. You can have a lot of assets loaded at once. You can be in a big firefight, grenades going off. You'll have 60 frames a second locked. Um, or you'll just walk into an area and you'll hit 30 frames a second. Um, so this, yeah. I look forward to Bethesda's next engine. This one's um, very good, really good physics. Um, but it's done its dash, this engine. So I can't wait to see what else they can do because this engine was very good. Um, I guess I'll leave it there. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments or on Reddit if there's anything you'd like to see in the future. Um, thinking about doing some uh, emulated games, some uh, Nintendo GameCube stuff uh, at 1440p. That stuff looks sweet and a lot of that stuff runs at 60 frames a second very nicely too. So have a good one guys and I'll catch you next video.